All right, uh, so here is a circuit, and the goal is to use the superposition principle to find the voltage across this 4 ohm resistor right here, labeled as V1. Okay, so superposition, if you recall, basically says that if I find the influence of this 12 volt supply on this 4 ohm independently without the 2 amp current source, and then I go ahead and find the influence of this 2 amp current source independently without the 12 volt. Uh, supply, then uh, I can combine those two influences and I get the overall voltage across the forum resistor because of both of these uh, active components here. Okay, so in order to do this, we'll basically create uh, two circuits one where we just evaluate the influence of the current source and the one where we evaluate just the influence of the voltage source. So let's get started. So, first thing we'll do is we'll set the voltage source to be equal to zero. When you set the voltage source to zero, basically you're saying that the voltage across this point and that point is identical because voltage is the difference between the voltage at this node, uh, potential difference of this node and that node. And if they're the same, then the voltage across this is going to be equal to zero. So setting this or killing the voltage source, as they call it, or setting the voltage source to zero essentially results in a short across this, uh, uh, across the terminals of this voltage source. So that's replacing the voltage source with a uh, Vs equals zero. So we have current source right here. Now if I see that the current source is coming in, at this node, some of the current is going to go this way because of Kirchhoff's current law, and some of the current is going to go this way. How much of the current goes in one direction versus the other? So how much does it go across the six ohm? And how much does it go across this combined six and four? So if you look at six and four, they're in series with each other. So this right-hand side of the two amp source is 10 ohms. Left-hand side is six ohms. So how much does the current go this way versus this way deter is determined by the value of these resistors. So we can apply Kirchhoff's, oh, sorry, we can apply uh, current divider formula here to calculate the total current. We're interested in the current going in uh, in this direction in this case, okay? So we'll figure that out in a second. Next, now here's the circuit again, and I wanna see what is the influence of the voltage source, but not the current source. So removing the current source is essentially replacing that with an open circuit. So this circuit right here shows current source equals zero. In this case, I look at it and I see the voltage uh, 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 sources right here, and then there are three, resistors in series so we can use voltage divider. In this case, so here we'll use the current divider. Here we'll use the voltage divider. So let's get started with that. So let's go to this now, okay? So here we're interested primarily in the current to the four ohm source. So we're interested in how much of that two amp current goes through this 10 ohm combined series, right? So we wanna find out this I1 is equal to one over this 10, one over 10, divided by the reciprocal sum of the resistors. So one tenth from this side and one sixth from this side times the total current that's being divided, that's two amps. So that's the current divider formula. Uh, I'm writing the general form of the current divider formula, which works for any number of uh, resistors that are in parallel, okay? So that's what I have. And now uh, that gives me a total of 0.75 amps. Uh, for the current I1. Now the current I1 that flows through 6 ohm and 4 ohm is the same, so the total voltage across the 4 ohm resistor V equals I1 times 4, 0.75 times 4 is equal to 3 volts. So we see that if I remove the voltage source, the total influence the current source has on this voltage right here across the 4 ohm resistor is 3 volts. Now let's go back this way. So on the, uh, here, we talked about how the voltage across a 4 ohm could be found using voltage divider. Now these three resistors are in series, so total series resistance is 12 plus 4, that's 16. We have 4 ohm that we are interested in uh, finding the voltage across. So voltage divider basically says the voltage across a 4 ohm is given by 4 divided by the series total. So voltage 1 is 4 divided by 4 plus 6 plus 6, and it's dividing a total of the 12 volts. So 4 divided by 16, times 12, and that leads me to three volts. So three volts comes from the voltage source, and I, we saw that the three volt comes from the current source as well, and by superposition, we can say that the total voltage V1 across the four ohm 
is essentially the 3 volt from the current source, 3 volt from the voltage source, so V1 equals 3 volt plus 3 volts, which is equal to 6 volts. So that's uh, the calculating the voltage V1 across a forum resistor using the superposition principle.